Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the three different types of emergency contraceptives. Now, emergency contraceptives are backup forms of birth control that are used after unprotected penis and vagina sex when semen has made contact with the vagina. And the reason why someone might choose to use an emergency contraceptive is because they want to prevent an unplanned pregnancy. There are a lot of situations where birth control methods can fail. And another situation where someone might want to use emergency contraceptives is if they've had unprotected sex and haven't used birth control at all and are kind of worried and want to protect themselves. Another reason why someone would access emergency contraceptives is in times of assault or rape. Obviously, these are situations that no one plans for. So that is why emergency contraceptives are available to us. Of course, I live in Canada, so the access to emergency contraceptives here is going to be probably different from where you live. Um, but in my research, I did look up what was available in the US as well as the UK. And it seems in most places of the world, the most common types of emergency contraceptives are very similar. And so the three different types of emergency contraceptives would be the progestin only emergency contraceptive pill. So that contains synthetic progesterone, much like other birth control pills. The second type would be Eulopristal Acetate, which is otherwise known as Ella or Ella-1. And it is a prescription medication that you would take after unprotected sex. And it actually works by blocking progesterone. And the third option is actually the copper IUD. Now, emergency contraceptives are backup forms of birth control. They should not be used as your primary form of birth control. If you are sexually active and you want to prevent an unplanned pregnancy, I definitely recommend finding a birth control method that works for you and your partner or partners. It's really, really important to make sure that you're like actively trying to prevent pregnancy if that is um, a goal of yours. Because if you are sexually active and you don't really know when you're ovulating or you don't really know much about your cycle or that kind of thing, you can be putting yourself maybe at risk for pregnancy. Just because emergency contraceptives are out there you, to access, they shouldn't be your only primary source of birth control. You should be using other methods and then relying on emergency contraceptives as more of like a backup method if your primary methods fail. So the progestin only emergency contraceptive pill is also known as plan B or the morning after pill. And it is actually made up of synthetic progesterone, which is found in all birth control pills. And so the only difference is that the morning after pill has a, like a little bit more synthetic progesterone in it. Um, and it actually works by delaying ovulation as well as thinning the uterine lining. So if you take it after unprotected sex, but you've already ovulated and there could be that potential for a sperm and an egg to meet and fertilize, then it will work by thinning the uterine lining. So that egg will have a harder time implanting on the uterine lining. And the progestin only emergency contraceptive pill actually works best if you take it within three days of unprotected sex. It works better the quicker you take it. It does work within five days of unprotected sex, but the effectiveness does reduce after three days. So it's about 75 to 89% effective in preventing pregnancy, but it's usually more effective the sooner you take it rather than later. So take it within 72 hours if possible. And the nice thing about the progestin only emergency contraceptive pill is that you can find it in pharmacies local to you. You don't need a prescription. It should actually be stocked on shelves and you should be able to just go into the store and grab it off the shelf and then pay for it. P.S. It's usually near the like yeast infection stuff. Like it's not usually near like the condoms, which is like so weird to me. I'm like, what? Okay. But if you have to ask a pharmacist for it, they should either tell you how to take it or they should be like, yeah, I have it. Here you go. And so if you buy it, it will come in a box and it will have either one or two pills in it. And obviously it will have instructions on how to take it. If you go to a pharmacy and they don't have it, you can actually ask them where in your local town it is stocked because it should be stocked at most pharmacies. It can be around like $40 if you buy it at a pharmacy. It might be more, it might be less, kind of depending on the brand. If you go to a sexual health clinic, it might be a reduced cost. So sexual health clinics are great for accessing this. Now, important thing to know about the progestin only emergency contraceptive pill is that it should not affect hormonal birth control. So if you've had a hormonal birth control failure, but you're still taking your birth control, you can take the progestin only emergency contraceptive pill and it should not affect your birth control. And um, there shouldn't be any issues with that. However, with that being said, it's also just a really, really good idea to use a backup form of birth control until you get your next period. If you take the emergency contraceptive pill and you just continue to have unprotected sex, it's probably not gonna work as well. So the one downside of the progestin only emergency contraceptive pill is that it's less effective in people who are over 165 pounds, which is 75 kilograms. So if you weigh over 165 pounds, 
progestin-only emergency contraceptive pill might not work for you. And so that's why it's really great to talk with your local sexual health clinic to understand your options when it comes to emergency contraceptives. And it's really great to talk to them before you might have to even use these things. All in all, the progestin-only emergency contraceptive pill is really accessible, it's super common, it's pretty easy to buy, and sexual health clinics may have it at like a reduced cost. So let's move on to the next type of emergency contraceptive pill, which is called Eulopristal Acetate, otherwise known as Ella. And so Eulopristal Acetate is not like the easiest word to say. I actually had to like pronounce it many times before I filmed this video because I wanted to get it right. Um, but from here on, I think I'm just going to call it Ella because that's the brand name of it. So if you hear me say Ella, I'm talking about eulopristal acetate. It's just much easier for me to say Ella, and I think it just will make more sense as I go through the video. <laughs> so Ella works by preventing the effects of progesterone. And so what happens is it can help delay ovulation and also thin the uterine lining. So it works very similar to the progestin-only contraceptive pill, and it doesn't actually contain any hormones, but what it does is it actually like blocks progesterone. So it kind of works in a little bit of a different way, but kind of has like the same results, if you will. Now Ella is really interesting because it is incredibly effective for up to five days after unprotected sex. So obviously the sooner you take it the better, but it actually is 85% effective for five days, which is really great because obviously things happen and you might not be able to, you know, access it or access emergency contraceptives like as soon as possible. And so knowing that, that's that's really awesome, right? Now one of the downsides of Ella is that it's only available by prescription in most places. So I know in Canada, I believe the US, you can only get it by prescription. So you can't walk into a pharmacy and just be like, I want the Ella pill. You can't do that, unfortunately. You have to get a prescription. And so that can obviously be really difficult because it's hard to get a doctor's appointment, right? But that's why sexual health clinics are great because usually in emergencies, they can um, create some space for you. If you do get a prescription and you do buy it, it's gonna be you know, roughly maybe like 40 to $60, depending on where you live, more or less. Um, but it's only one pill that you have to take. It's really effective and works really well. The one thing that you need to keep in mind is that if you are taking hormonal birth control or if you've, you've been taking hormonal birth control, um, you have to stop taking hormonal birth control if you do take Ella because it does block progesterone. So not only <laughs> can it make the birth control you're taking like less effective, birth control can also affect Ella's effectiveness. And if you're breastfeeding, it's really important to know that if you take Ella, you're gonna have to pump and dump your milk for at least 36 hours afterwards, um, sometimes even longer. Another thing to know about Ella is that if you weigh over 165 pounds, it could potentially be less effective. So I just wanna stop my video right here because while I was editing it, I forgot to mention a few things and I don't know how that happens, but here we are. So when it comes to Ella and weight, Ella seems to be slightly more effective in people who are in like a higher weight range. Um, with that being said, it seems to be less effective if not at all effective when someone reaches about 185 to 195 pounds. So I just wanted to add that in. I don't understand how we've gone so long with having these two emergency birth control pill options, um, but we haven't been able to create a pill that like can cater to everyone no matter their body shape. Like. Mm kind of bothers me a little bit. So before we move on to the copper IUD, which is the third and final type of emergency contraceptive, I wanna talk just a little bit more about emergency contraceptive pills. So this includes the progestin only contraceptive pill as well as Ella. So these pills might make you feel kind of crappy and you might feel nauseous or have an upset stomach and they might make you throw up. And so if you do throw up within two to three hours of taking them, you need to take another dose. And that's just simply because the medication might not have absorbed in your body and if it's not absorbed in your body properly, it might not work. The other thing I wanna let you know is that if you take any emergency contraceptive pills, they can change your cycle. Basically what I mean by that is your period can come earlier. It possibly could come a little bit later than you're expecting, although usually it's, it, it comes earlier. And you might also get some random spotting. I know that after you take these things, you might assume that, oh, like my, my cycle will just be like normal and stuff. And it, it will get back to that. But these things work by either like delaying ovulation or putting more progesterone in your body or, you know, Ella blocks progesterone. It's really important to know that your cycle might, might be a little bit different. 
The other thing is that emergency contraceptive pills do not protect against STIs. So if you've had unprotected sex and you're really worried about sexually transmitted infections, these will not prevent that. Um, and so it's really important to get like an STI testing if that, if that has happened. And the last thing that I wanna mention is that if you do not get a period within three weeks of taking an emergency contraceptive pill, probably a good idea to take a pregnancy test to see what's going on. All right. Let's move on to the third and final type of emergency contraceptive, which is the copper IUD. I'm sure you might not have known that the copper IUD can be used as an emergency contraceptive, and I know for a while, like, I didn't know that either. I thought only pills were available. But no, the copper IUD is a type of emergency contraceptive. If you're not familiar with a copper IUD, a copper IUD is a T-shaped device that is inserted into the uterus that has some copper wire um, wound around it. And they work by preventing fertilization of the egg, so they prevent the sperm and the egg from meeting. But if they are inserted and there is a fertilized egg making its way down the fallopian tube, the copper IUD will also prevent the fertilized egg from implanting on the uterine wall. So they work in a couple different ways. Now the copper IUD is 99% effective if it is inserted within five to seven days after unprotected sex. So that's pretty amazing. The only downside is that like, obviously you can't insert a copper IUD by yourself. You need to go to a doctor, which can be really difficult in emergency situations. Sexual health clinics and other clinics that offer IUDs, they understand that copper IUDs can be used in this way and they are usually like pretty good at helping people get access to emergency copper IUDs. Now, the nice thing about the copper IUD is not only is it a great form of emergency contraception, but it's actually a really, really great form of birth control in general. So once you have a copper IUD inserted, it can actually last for up to 10 years. And so if you have an emergency copper IUD inserted, it can actually be a great form of birth control for you. The other thing to know about a copper IUD is it can be removed at any time. So you'd have to make an appointment with your doctor to have it removed. IUDs can, you know, they can vary in price, but if you do go to a sexual health clinic, usually you can get them at like a reduced cost. So always a great idea to check out your local sexual health clinic. How many times have I said that in this video? So copper IUDs do not protect against STIs. They also may cause heavier bleeding as well as increased cramping during your periods. The other thing with copper IUD is that it works for anyone. It doesn't matter what your weight is, which is really nice because as we know, the emergency contraceptive pills that are available they don't work for everybody. Copper IUD does. And so that's another reason why it can be a really great option. So there you have it. Those are the three types of emergency contraceptives available. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. But before I end this video, I wanna do a really quick recap of things that I really, really want you to remember from this video. So what I want you to remember is that the progestin-only emergency contraceptive pill, otherwise known as Plan B, is available at most pharmacies. You do not need a prescription. And it's best taken within three days after unprotected sex. The next thing that I want you to know is that Ella is the other form of emergency contraceptive pill out there, and it is effective for up to five days after unprotected sex. However, you do need a prescription to access it. And the final thing I want you to know is that the copper IUD is the most effective form of emergency contraception when inserted five to seven days after unprotected sex. However, it needs to be inserted by a doctor. So there you have it. That's what I want you to remember about these three options. And I also want you to remember, just because these options are named emergency contraceptives doesn't mean you have to only access them in an emergency. You can go to a pharmacy and buy a plan B pill and like have it in your bathroom cupboard in case of your birth controls failed or like a condom's broken and you want to protect yourself. And you know what? You might never need it. Having it on hand can just give you a little bit more of a peace of mind. And I'm like so happy to live somewhere where these things are available. And that's why I wanted to talk about them because I think it's so important to talk about our options. And so I hope you learned a lot in this video. I I highly, highly recommend if you find yourself in a situation where you need to access emergency contraceptives, please call your local sexual health clinic if you can. They will have great advice and guidance for you. That is what they do and that's what they're there for. They want to help and it's totally okay to ask them for help. So I want to leave you with that. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. As always, your cycle matters so much and I'm here for you and I'll see you in the next video.